this is Kelly from Root Pursuit, and as you'll notice, my desk looks different today. Uh, <laughs> I did spill a little coffee on my desk, and I kept saying, should I replace my cover on the top? And for sure, now I'm gonna. <laughs> And I had no choice, but uh, I said, I said, I mean, I had made these labels. I hadn't written on them yet, but I had drenched, I had cut them all out and I just drenched them. You can see a little coffee stain on this. Uh, and I, I know you're thinking, well, did you grab some paper and put it in the coffee? I did a little, but not a lot. Uh, and actually the black paper, it sort of bled this like dark Actually, you can kind of see it on my fingers, this dark purpley color, which added like coffee and dark purple. I think that paper is going to look really cool. I don't have it at the moment because it's drying in, in the dining room. But so, yeah, that's, oh, look, there's a little, like, oh, there's coffee in there. <laughs> I just put my finger in it. All right. Emergency. Emergency. Okay. <laughs> Still a little coffee. There's like these little divots. Can you see those? Yeah, right here. Right here. See? Right there. Yep, there was coffee in there. I didn't know it till I stuck my finger in it. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the kind of morning I'm having. Uh, this is what my desk normally looks like. Uh, it's it's a nice, it, it, it's anti. It's nice. All right, so the first thing I want to talk about since that's what we're here for is the sorting Saturday Saturday part two of our sorting the rainbow carts and uh, I have some updates I believe let's just see if I can remember okay yes border strips I organized these this is the after math of my border strips drawer I have a video on that one that I will be coming out with soon uh, what else did I redo? I think I did this one. I don't, yeah, this is the one I did. I'm not, I'm still not super satisfied with that one, but it's better. Uh, what else? What else? Oh, yeah, yeah. I got all my post-it notes organized. And I'm, can I get this door out? Okay, I'm excited to show you this. So, my note paper drawer. What are you doing in here? This is the wrong drawer. I have like a miscellaneous drawer. It's getting... Well. Okay, so there is a really good method to this madness. First of all, I put a divider in here. And I really like it. It's basically one 8 by 11 sheet and it's like folded like so and then this part is glued down and that part's glued down and then i put a little card stock uh junk mail cardboard in to stabilize it really good really good so what do we have on each side this is like a stationary side so it's like decorative paper or plain paper and then the front is this line paper so any line paper. The other thing I did, because before I was having a lot of problems with floating paper, is I clipped all of the paper together with either paper clips or binder clips. That's much better. Okay, so I've got that going on. The drawer below it, which used to be my antique stuff and, or not antique stuff, the heirloom heritage genealogy journal stuff. And that is now, I'm not going to show it to you, it's now book pages. Because I really didn't have a close place for book pages, so I was kind of, when I needed them, I, I, it wasn't that easy to get. So, that is my updates. These are my labels. Let's go over these. So, the second row, we, we talked about the ink, and we kind of got through that and said, oh... Ink. And then I have five drawers of junk mail items. Yes, I do. So that concludes the second row, the third or the second cart. The third cart, I am, these are my categories and in order of how I'm going to do them now. <laughs> 
frames, top drawer, I think. Yes. Okay. Well, then what? I'm making this up as I go. Uh, how about, no, I don't need that. Let me think. Puzzle pieces. What now? Oh, this goes in the first row. These are going to go on the bottom, but not off screen. That goes over there. That's the first cart row. <laughs> so my book page is my note paper. So I'll have to get labels. The three junk mail in the second row. And then the third is going to be frames, puzzle pieces, stencils. And the reason those are going to all go together is because they're not paper. They're sort of like items. And then, then we'll do digit and then all the rest of them are all paper things so digitals my digitals uh whimsy paper specialty paper there's two drawers and then two drawers for doilies so that's the whole cart organization so now uh i'll be back and then we're gonna go through my drawers and i know when i did the haul video the other day i said see my goodies and now today I'm talking about you going through my drawer so I don't know what's up with that but <laughs> all right I'll be back. with the labels on them I think they look really really good this right here is a little overflowing so that needs to be addressed and then now some of these where's my hand there some of these drawers are not in order so all right, let's get them organized. I don't know how well this is gonna work, but I just kind of need to see everything all at once to kind of know how I'm gonna do this. So I'm just gonna make sure there aren't any, what's this? I don't know. There aren't any ink containers in any of the other drawers. There are not. So that's good. And there's extra room in the ink drawers so I'm thinking I'm going to take out these color box ones and throw them in here for now. So, okay, this thing is ending up everywhere today. Okay, garbage out. Ooh, little tea thing. Um, ink out. Okay, so now that I've got the ink bottles, how much extra room do I have? Shall we say? My daubers up there. Scissors. All these little bottles. These kind of go together. So we can get double up so that works out oh look at that nice and then I've got all this extra space so what do I want to put there I don't know maybe the neutrals I might have a whole drawer of neutrals I'm not totally sure let me just look here let's try it let's try the the browns and blacks See how it goes. Watermark. That doesn't count. That's black. I think I probably should throw that one away. There's some black. This really goes with that, but I don't know. Okay. These are all clear, so that's fine. What do we have in here? Any? I've got charcoal. Metallic ink pad. Put that maybe with the metallics. That would make sense. That could be a thing. Any others? All right. So let's look in the other drawer. There's one more drawer. <laughs> oh, and one below that. Oh my goodness. Okay, just browns. Theoretically, I could put um, this one in there. Any more browns? I don't 
some gold. Those are all together, so that's good. And then one, two, three. There shouldn't be any more browns in this. But alas, there are <laughs> galaxy gold italics color. Okay. Um, uh, I'm, I'm, it's coming together. I got ink or stamps on these too. That's how I lose stuff. And this is how I mess things up. Okay. Oh dear. Okay. I'm going to call this drawer done. So we've got inks and black and browns. Excellent. Hopefully it's not too heavy. Now, we've got one drawer that is metallics. I'm going to take everything out of here that's not a metallic. Ooh. Okay, so we've got... That's not metallic. Gold. Oh, I just have the wrong lid on there, don't I? Okay, so that one's right. Silver. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. Right? It doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, does it? Okay, brown goes... Oh, I'm so confused. Okay, these are browns and blacks. They don't go here. They certainly don't. All right. Now I'm going to put... Oh, my goodness. There wasn't nearly as many of those as I thought there were going to be. Okay, so we're going to put also all of our embossing pads and clear and white ink pads in there. These are in here, that on my lap, and then any other metallics. Oh, that's a white metallic. I know I saw one somewhere. All right, here's a bunch more. Here's all of these. And metallics. And one of my line things. Okay. I was like, where are I'm so confused? Okay, so that's better. Much, much, much. This comes off of here. We'll go with my stamps. And this is what happened. It got mixed up with the brown. I put up here. Okay, so this lid goes on here, and this one is here. Just want to put that in our brown and black drawer. Same with this one. Okay, done and done. Now we've got this. So we've got some. This is platinum, galaxy gold, moon light white so those all go together then i've got oyster white this is like a actual embossing one put that over here this is stamped image magically alters the color of paper when heated with an iron yep so that's like embossing stuff this is like a chalk that there. This is clear embossing. Put that there. More white. Cloud white. Oyster white. Hampton Art white. And now we've got gold and silvers. Gold, gold, gold. Gold. This one color. Oop, another white and some silvers. Excellent. Nice. Okay. 
That's way better. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Why do I have so much gold? I don't know, some silver and white. Sometimes I buy lots of them and then like a lot of craft supplies and then I just get whatever's in there. <laughs> and then I end up with this mess. I'm gonna try to get all my small ones in one or two drawers. My Distress Inks up here. Some greens. What is this color? Mari. Oh, that's definitely black. We go over in that drawer. Surprised they all fit in there. We could do like blues and greens in this drawer, maybe, of the bigger ones. I have lots of blues and greens. What is this? That's a green. These are greens. Magical touches. Must be like embossing stuff. Embossing glitter. Maybe. I don't know. I'll put it in the gold and the embossing stuff. Okay, we've got more stamps that need to go in my stamp drawer, not on here. I have pink. How many drawers do we have left? Three. There should be plenty of room. That's a purple. There's so many of these big ones. I think these. Okay, if I do all these multicolored, hold on. I could do all the multicolored ones together. Like all of these sort of ones. That makes a lot of sense to me. That's it. So now I just have to make sure there's enough room in this drawer for all these. And I think I would say we have a winner. I think they all fit. That doesn't need to go in there. And I have this. It's like rubber, rubber banded. These are all kind of metallics, color metallics. They're cool looking. Oh my goodness. So many inks. Okay. I, I think... I'm gonna call that done and done. And this door is not very full, but that's fine. It doesn't need to be full. So I've got all of my ones that are, oh, I knew there was another one. It just felt unfinished. So many blues. Here's a blue, here's a blue. Greens, greens, another green. Why do you need to organize them by color? I have no idea. Two more greens, orange and yellow, gray blue, some purpley pinks, oranges, and a red. These are the colored pads, key pads. That drawer is backwards, and when they're backwards, they don't go in. Mm -hmm. Just a little tip from me to you. I want that in there. What oh, that drawer is goosey goosey. I did it. I did it. Woo! 
do my lap. I don't want you to do my lap. Where my crazy? I think they're Lulu, Lulu Larue pants. Mm -hmm. Uh, all right. Next, I j I don't think I'm gonna do the junk mail. I'm not brave enough to do that one, and it's gonna be a big project. But let's just review these. So these, the top row is my frames. You kind of get the point. Some are stickers, some are paper, some are fussy cut, some are giant, but it's a whole bin of them things. Yep. That's where that goes. Okay. Second one. I'm going to take some drawers and just kind of stack them up. Same, same style. And then look at what we need to do. So this drawer says puzzle pieces. So this should be fairly easy to just pull out these digitals. Oh, you put those in the wrong drawer. That goes in, that goes in your whimsy paper drawer. Yeah, so silly. Okay, that goes in there. But these come out, my digitals. And then I put in puzzle pieces. You'll never in your lifetime use this many puzzle pieces, just so you know. Just so you know. Some of them are states, so though. They're really cool. All right. Anyway. So, second drawer. Puzzle pieces. Done and done. Taking it out. Okay, next one is an orange drawer. And it says digitals, but this one says whimsy paper, so that's what this is. This is like stuff that wouldn't necessarily go in like antique stuff. And these are, that's textured paper. Okay, so whimsy, that's done. Let's do stencils. Not all of my stencils fit in here. Actually, there's three places for stencils because some of them are huge and bigger than this drawer, and some are small, and I have the small ones in a separate container beside my desk. Okay, orange stencils. You get to get put away. Yay! Done and done. Okay, next. This is supposed to be digitals. So, I'm just gonna, this drawer, it's like really wobbly without my, my paper mat under there. And it, it keeps banging around and I just can't take it. Okay, I'll be fine, I will. I'll be fine, okay. Digitals. Now that's drawer number four, done. We're, we're all ready to green. Okay, so now this doesn't really matter which order. Oh yes, it does. Whimsy first. I lied, whimsy first. And oh, the other thing I realized when I was doing it, that I actually have three doily paint drawers. So that's fun. I don't know if I'm really going to one of these drawers was, if I'm really gonna, um, what was I gonna say? I don't know. Uh, lost my train of thought, but what it, this one was supposed to be typewritten paper. My hair's falling out. So there's some interesting, like these envelope cross stitch frame situations. I have no idea what those were for. These are like really cute little gift bags. Tea dyed papers, but mostly it was supposed to be typewritten stuff in there. Then I just turned it, stop. I need like a little, maybe if I put my roller under there. Can stop rolling around? Maybe. Okay, 
So this is specialty paper, putting that away. The next drawer is specialty paper. And since we're here to peek in my drawers, we'll just show you. This is more type written paper. Oh, it's just like colored cardstock. Interesting. That doesn't really go in there. Stationary. I have a different spot for that in my other craft room. <laughs> oh, music paper. So this, this is like really, really old, old, old papers mixed in there. So some organization needs to happen. And then my doily drawers. So this ended up just being like some overflow. And actually, Sure, this was supposed to go in there. Craft foil. That goes in specialty paper. Not in the doily drawer. And yeah. So many different kinds of doilies. Yeah, this was supposed to go like that. And then the square ones all together. Like that. So we wanted that done. So this goes back. The last drawer, doilies. So these were supposed to be maybe some odd shaped ones, but who knows? And then so many tiny, tiny doilies. I should put those in the mystery packs. I have so, so many. So that's another one I can definitely put in mystery packs. All right. Well, that brings us to the end, and I have no idea how much time I have because, frankly, <laughs> it's been a bunch of videos edited together, so, you know. All right, so I think that concludes it. Uh, thank you for coming along and helping me get motivated to organize my <laughs> rainbow cards. It was kind of a big job, but I feel a lot better about it and everything has a home and a label. So we love that. We totally love that. All right. Well, if you're interested in seeing my categories for my ephemera, I do have a digital in my Etsy shop. Uh, it's basically four pages <laughs> of every type of ephemera you can imagine and how I organized it into broad categories and then narrowed it down uh, under it. So you wouldn't necessarily need a, a container for every item that I've listed in there, but it really helps if you if you want to group those things together. I'm kind of a goofball with doing making lists and stuff like that. I like I like doing it, as you can see right here. I've got a list. Check out my Etsy shop. But as always, thanks for coming along, and I'll talk to you later.